the first year I was uh, a standalone uh, SHO in University Hospital Kerry in Orthopedics. Uh, and during that time, sort of, I uh, explored a few options and then applied for the GP scheme and Southwest, which I'm currently on as my priority. And I was very fortunate, you know, I got the scheme and, you know, it's, uh, I've never looked back since then, you know, it's been an amazing journey since then. When I started out, uh, I remember, I still remember in 2017 when I was in orthopedics and I told a couple of my friends, look, uh, I want to apply for the GP scheme. And they were like, oh, no hope, you know, you might as well go to UK. But, you know, sort of I persisted and asked around and uh, the GP trainees who were actually ahead of me, you know, they sort of helped me a lot with my application. While working in orthopedics, I was sort of key, very, very keen on, you know, joint injections and musculoskeletal pathology. So when I came onto GP practice uh, setting, I realized that, you know, there was a big need of it. So I am very keen in developing an interest in musculoskeletal medicine, which means, you know, uh, you know, dealing with the joint problems, knee, shoulders, and uh, possibly doing the intra-articular injections. Uh, and that's uh, that's a very important thing because, as you know, there's long waiting time for people to see orthopedics. So if we can provide a service in community, that'll obviously benefit the patients and also take off the load from the uh, waiting list. And secondly, uh, and that's actually a very important one, is the lifestyle medicine. Because I believe as GPs, we look at patients holistically, and that's the most important part. If the patient's lifestyle is according to, you know, what we consider healthy, uh, in today's day and term, I think they will, you know, prevent a lot of problems and they'll stay away from a lot of conditions. And, and that's the key to healthy nets and, you know, promoting a general healthy attitude, whether it's diet, exercise, mood, uh, you know, avoiding burnouts. And so I'm very much up for that. And I really like talking to patients about that, making small changes that can impact, you know, their life. The best thing about general practice is uh, general practice is referred to as family uh, doctors or family physicians uh, in various countries. And I feel that we are in some way an extension of family members, you know. Uh, we look after, you know, when somebody is from a young age to when they are old. Uh, we advise them on behaviors that will be healthy for them. And, you know, we promote healthy behaviors and we ask them not to do those things that can be harmful. Then some way we're keeping an eye on them and making sure everything is ticking as it should be. Um, I think second thing about general practice is uh, that it's quite uh, variable. It has a lot of variety. You can sort of set your own, uh, you know, p uh, career as your own, uh, it matches your personality. Furthermore, you know, uh, every place you go, uh, I think you can make changes that are very you know valuable which i felt in hospital uh, there was more resistance to so general practice you can make more changes and you know uh, lead to better health outcomes